Transthyretin amyloidosis is a progressive fatal disease characterized by the accumulation of amyloid fibrils composed of misfolded transthyretin protein, or TTR, in tissues. NTLA-2001 is a CRISPR-Cas9-based in vivo gene editing therapy administered by intravenous infusion that is intended to edit the gene encoding TTR in hepatocytes. NTLA-2001 uses a lipid nanoparticle, or LNP, to deliver a messenger RNA encoding Cas9 protein and a single guide RNA that contains a TTR gene-specific target sequence. After intravenous administration, NTLA-2001 is taken up by hepatocytes, where the translated Cas9 mRNA forms a CRISPR-Cas9 ribonucleoprotein complex in the cytoplasm, enters the nucleus, and induces sequence-specific cleavage of the TTR gene. A frameshift mutation of the TTR gene results from an indel formed by non-homologous end joining, preventing the production of TTR protein. In this Phase I open-label multicenter study, single doses of NTLA-2001, either 0.1 or 0.3 mg per kilogram, were evaluated in six patients with hereditary transthyretin amyloidosis and polyneuropathy. Patients were monitored for adverse events during and after treatment. Serum samples were obtained at baseline and at weeks 1, 2, and 4 for analysis of TTR protein levels by an enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay. NTLA-2001 treatment was completed in all the patients without interruption of the infusion. At day 28, the mean reduction from baseline in the serum TTR protein concentration was 52% in the group that received a dose of 0.1 mg per kilogram and 87% in the group that received a dose of 0.3 mg per kilogram. The effect of NTLA-2001 was reproducible across patients at each dose level. Mild adverse events were reported in three of the six patients. No serious adverse events were observed. The authors conclude that in a small group of patients with hereditary TTR amyloidosis with polyneuropathy, the administration of NTLA-2001 was associated with only mild adverse events and led to decreases in serum TTR protein concentrations through targeted knockout of the TTR gene. Full study results are available at NEJM.org.